Welcome back to PAX 2024. I'm here at the code booth with the one, the only Bouncing Monkey Game. If you haven't seen or read any of my articles about Bouncing Monkey and how much I love them, here's a nice new video for you. So I'm with Sam. I am the creative director and founder of the company and one of the programmers. So as you guys know, I'm obsessed with these guys. Uh, before we leave is my comfort game I put more hours in that game than any other game I've ever played, even Pokemon Blue, and that's saying something. Wow. I've also been lucky enough to be one of the playtesters for Beyond These Stars, and I cannot wait for you guys to be able to play it. But for those who aren't obsessed like me yep. and don't get to be in the playtest, tell us about Beyond These Stars. Beyond These Stars is the sequel to our previous game before we leave. You are building a city on the back of a giant space whale as it is flying through space. So the space whale is an intelligent being. You're there by its choice. You can have conversations with it. What it wants and what your people want don't necessarily line up, but you explore a galaxy together. There's things to find and stuff to do, all that sort of thing. It's very much, uh, even more so than before we leave, it's on the non-violent chill side of things. So you're just play at your own pace, explore the galaxy, build your city. There are challenges. You've got to keep your people fed and happy and learn new things and grow and all that. There's a demo out now on Steam, coming to early access kind of soonish. Go and wishlist this game. And if you can, go get before we leave. Believe me, you will enjoy it. If you're a cozy gamer, 100%, you will enjoy it and spend way too many hours on it like I do. From the differences between before we leave and beyond these stars, one thing that was told to us last pack and I was able to experience in the playtest, if we got multi-tiled bridges. <laughs> we hoped people would like those. Before we leave, I mean, it was my first game. You know, we did our best. I mean, one of the limitations was you could only have little short bridges, but now you can have nice long bridges to cross things. We've also added terraforming, uh, so you can raise and lower the land, spread water around in rivers and things. Also, with the new redesign of how you place things, so the houses and the, the buildings that you have are now a little bit different shapes. So yep. it's easier to like Tetris, which yep. is another cool thing about this game. Is like you've got the building, the city, you've got looking after your pigs, you've got working out the pollution and making sure that Kawa is fine. But now you can Tetris at the same time. Yep. And you so you have adjacency bonuses. So some buildings next to other buildings like being there can get bonuses. Other buildings do not, like your peeps don't really want their houses next to a dump. Deliberately, some of the buildings are funny shapes, so you've got to think about how do I fit these together. Also with the terraforming, how do I lay out my land so that I can fit the things I want. But good fun, kind of puzzly feel at the same time. My favourite mechanic that is new but between Beyond These Stars and Before We Leave is you have to worry about your oxygen, your air, and making sure that you're not you're not taking away all the trees so there's no air left on yep. the top of Kawa. Yeah. Is that something that you had a lot of input on or it took a long time to work out the mechanics of? It took a while. You want to give the player enough area, but not too much. And you want them to be able to expand that area, but not too easily. So just getting the balance right was a bit tricky. Your favourite new thing that you've made or developed changed up for Beyond These Stars? I don't know if this really counts, but I love that we're putting a lot more effort into just the details of the look. Your, your, all the buildings you place, they have little plants around the edges that just kind of merges them into the, the ground. I love seeing what people do, especially with the terraforming tools and what they can create and the shapes of the land. I love having a galaxy to explore. Uh, you can just move around and, and find things. Put a lot of effort into chipping your resources around different places much smoother. I'm really looking forward to see, see how people react to that. So we can talk to aliens? I haven't yep. been able to play with that in the playtest because I've been busy and I don't think that's something that we can do yet. Yep. Um, but you can a little bit. A little bit. Yep. Uh, but talk to other people, that's cool. Well, yep. Not real people, like oh, characters gosh, in the game. Why would you want to talk to real people? <laughs> We're all nerds, we're all in our basements, yep. just like... Absolutely. <laughs> but someone who has no experience with this and hasn't read my articles, read my articles. What's something that you want them to know about Balance and Monkeys, about any of the games that you've made? Something that you want them to know? We're awesome. Well, no, we're nice. Uh, we're also awesome. Uh, we love making games. We love people playing against. We love coming to PAX because we meet the people that come up to us and say, we love your game. Um, and it's just such a nice feeling. So if you want to play our game that's really cool, come and tell us whether you like it or not, because we love knowing that too. Uh, I am such a huge, big Ultra fan. They gave me one of their shirts. So if you see me rocking this, I don't work for them 
yet. <laughs> oh, hint dropped. I like it the way I